Hey guys, Zach Man with a video update. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Let's get into Tron right now. Uh, so right now, obviously over the weekend, it was kind of in the red. It did go up yesterday into the green, which we can kind of see right here. This is the four hour chart we're looking at. Uh, we have some support down here. We hit one, two, three candles. I couldn't really break it. So we kind of ride our way back up. Uh, a lot of this might have had to do with some uh, BS that happened in the last four or five days, which I'll jump into here in a little bit. Uh, but let's look at the next chart. This is the 60 minute, or uh, this is the day chart. Um, so again, we'll look at the day chart. If we take a look, um, for right here is pretty much our bottom. Uh, we kind of follow this up, and it'll, it's hard to see, I know, because of the numbers up here, but uh, come on, here we go, right there. So we're about 177, we were 177% uh, right now. We are 117% if we were to close right now. Um, so we're doing good from, and that was in... Uh, the last 48 days and it took about 45 days roughly to get to the 175 percent uh, from where the bottom was there so that's pretty positive stuff um, but if you go back on uh, well, this moving average right here is the 50 moving average and that's a 200 so we're the 50 moving average did cross the 200 moving average um, for the four hour chart again we kind of see we're above uh, both the 50 and the 200 uh, moving average which is pretty positive and if we go to the one hour chart uh, we'll see that we're uh, riding the 50 uh, moving averages, kind of a support right now. And then obviously the 200 moving averages kind of went uh, under that, so the 50 went above it. Uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm uh, talking fast, but uh, so that's kind of where we're there. Uh, Bitcoin obviously is kind of riding, uh, you know, staying above the 30 or 3,000, 3,200 mark there. Uh, right now, Tron is ranked at number nine. Still with a 1.6 million or billion uh, market cap. So over the weekend, there was a guy from uh, an ex CFO or some kind of head guy over at BitTorrent before uh, Tron took over it, and he was talking smack, saying that the uh, you know, perfect timing too, right before the summit. But uh, talking smack, saying that um, the tr uh, the BTT coin for BitTorrent won't be able to handle the transactions; it will crash and basically make Tron obsolete. But uh, so. Um, I'll post this article in my description. I have like 10 minutes to try to explain all this stuff. So I'm sorry if I'm going fast. But uh, so Justin Sun kind of debunks it. He talks about um, basically proving him wrong and uh, how it is, uh, how it's going to work and basically like that. So transferring files using the BitTorrent protocol involves splitting them into tiny pieces for exchange. Uh, with many peers, each exchange requires a micropayment, which is made up ch uh, off chain. When the... Uh, exchange is complete these payments can then be anchored by on-chain uh, consensus a common approach on many blockchains today so he kind of goes through a little bit of how it works like I said I'm not gonna read too much into it I'll, I'll post the the site on my uh, description so if you guys want to read into it you can um, then he, uh, he basically it's basically debunks it he talks about <coughs> excuse me um, we've known a long time that the actions and executions are what will count for um, for our community and remain committed to them so he already knows like that that's that would be an issue obviously they won't launch it unless they knew they could um fix it so uh that's that uh, another cool article i found on tron is fake it till you make it um is pretty much this will sum it up i'll kind of I'll, I'll post a link for this too um but i'll kind of skim through it here uh so it talks a little about tron and basically how um justin son the tron founder and obviously he uh he took the project to the next uh, to nothing when they first launched, and basically with a plagiarized white paper from Ethereum, which was another whole article, um, which you can research that and stuff like that. I'm not getting into it, but um, but basically, he kind of went into that. He's a very good uh, marketing uh, genius. But basics, uh, number thing about Tron: the project started in September 2017. It's based out of China, in Beijing. Uh, the Tron is a blockchain-based decentralized protocol that aims to construct a world-free content entertainment system with the blockchain and distributed storage technology. Number uh, three, unlike many blockchain projects, Tron is ha uh, has already introduced a fully functional product and has more than 100 dApps on it. Number four, ticker Tron, price two cents, all that stuff. The team, the Tron team is led by Justin Sun, who has been nothing short of a, ma a magician when it comes to creating uh, the FOMO and driving the price of the tri uh, Tron token. Um, obviously, he was an employee at Ripple back in the day. Um, his prior experiences focus on machine learning, our uh, artificial intelligence, advertising system. He also spent several years working uh, at a several major Chinese uh, companies. Uh, the Tron team has an additional 100 blockchain developers and engineers, 40 of them being senior level developers. 
<coughs> excuse me again. Uh, number four, rounding out Tron team is a solid number of business developers, strategists, and marketers. Uh, drivers of growth, basically number one. Tron has uh, recently announced a new hire. Obviously, we talked about the SEC uh, 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 supervisor, uh, the attorney. Uh, he they hired him, which is pretty uh, pretty positive for all the future uh, legalizations of whatever Tron wants to do and uh, the regulations. Tron recently acquired BitTorrent. We already know that. Uh, the Singapore-based BitTorrent Foundation will be issuing a new uh, token, the BTT. That's kind of what we just talked about. The Tron can find daily numbers of transactions between Tron and Ethereum. In November, Tron surpassed the highest single-day transaction total for Ethereum, uh, about 3.3 million since then as well. So it's doubled that. Uh, Tron has achieved a high uh, throughput of 2,000 TPS um, compared to the current 25 TPS of Ethereum. Uh, according to Sun, the Tron has plans to implement uh, ZK uh, Snarks uh, as early as the first quarter. That's kind of like a privacy thing that uh, they want to do, so that way it's kind of like Zcash, uh, Munro, and uh, Verge, and all that stuff, so they're kind of doing that too. Tron has recently announced the launch of a 100 million blockchain game fund, uh, Tron Arcade. Uh, basically, Tron Arcade will empower developers to create and develop blockchain based games. The 100 million uh, fund will distribute over the next three years. Uh, Sesame Seed has announced the launch of the Tron Card Beta Program, which allowed card holders to spend their tokens at participating retailers. Uh, Hater love him. Justin Sun is a master at the marketing, so we already kind of talked about that too. He's a master at that. Um, Tron has also done a great job securing partnerships with the gaming community, all that stuff too. And Tron was also one of the first pioneers successfully conducting a large uh, permissionless airdrop. So that was pretty cool too. So again, I'll post this so you guys can see. I'm pretty sure my time is running up here. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll post another video hopefully tomorrow. And hopefully we have some more news on what's going on with the summit. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.